Hey, here's a video of this cougar. Um, okay, so, hi by the way, hello. Uh, I walked around the outside of this thing and I can't find anything on it other than the streaks and stuff, but it gets washed and detailed and cleaned and they paint the, hit, the front hitch area and they paint the stairs and the jacks and make it look all pretty. It will have a propane cover. Uh, do yourself a pay favor. Spend the 350 odd dollars and get a power front jack because being this person, <laughs> it sucks. It's just not good. If you're moving it, if you're parking it in one spot, whatever, just keep that. But if you're moving it, I recommend that. Uh, the decals on this are all in very, very good shape. Okay, there is no delamination or water damage. The outside is in, once it's cleaned up, I'll give the outside a nine and a half out of 10. It'll be really nice. Great big awning, covers the whole thing, both doors, manual jacks all the way around, which is good because power jacks aren't good. We don't like them. There's a spare tire for when things go wrong. Hey, there's another storage cubby back here. That's, of course it's locked. Okay, that's a storage cubby. Okay, ladder for partying on the roof. Don't do that. Okay, yet another storage cubby. This is under the bunk area, so it's just double access. Okay. All in nice shape. Hold on, closing that. All right, there's your slide. Again, decals all very, very nice. Walls are really nice. Nothing to see here. Fresh water connection, etc. Okay, there's your pass through storage. Okay, bear with me here, going inside now. There's the front of the trailer. There's the side of the trailer again. This is the door. Okay, going inside. I've got this on a bit of zoom vision because it's the only way to get the whole trailer in. Okay, the bedroom area. It has plastic on the floor still. Can you see it? So, that's good. Okay, in here, nothing to see. The door came off its track. Our guys will fix that. And really, nothing. None of the wood is nicked up. You have easy access down here for a cooler. Okay. And then plugs on both sides of the bed. Oh yeah, that's really a treat. Uh huh. Um, the sink is in really nice shape. I always look at the sink. The sink's been taken care of. The trailer's been taken care of. Stove is in excellent shape. It has been turned on, but barely used. Oven. Okay, all the cupboards are in good shape. One or two little nicks like that. And like that. Um... This is where the TV would go if you chose for a TV, and I was right. See, this is the one that's missing, this control. But you still have all your functions and everything here. I don't know what you'd put in there, but it's there. Um, all these units have this shrinkage of this rubber strip. It always does it. It's 100% of the units. It is everywhere. It's just common. It just shrinks after time. I don't know what to say. Okay, but all the cupboards are in great shape. Back to the eight cubic foot fridge, four shelves, eight cubic feet. Not the small fridge, very important. Really nice cupboards. Again, all in really good shape. Couple of little marks. Those are out of sight. Okay, bunk area, ladder. Right? Again, a little bit of wear down there at the bottom. But the bunk area is in really nice shape. Plug up there, a little shelf. Same down here with a light. Windows top and bottom. The booth is all in excellent condition. No pulls or snags, nothing to see here. Okay, couch also, very nice shape. All the blind, has day night blinds. See how this is misadjusted? Our guys in the shop will, oh no, there you go. Okay, okay I fixed it, ha, <laughs> they owe me money. Day night shades, okay, roof's all in good shape. Even the vents are all nice and clean. Go in the bathroom here real quick. Okay, sink again, very nice shape. Me again, hi. Uh, good storage there. Okay, bit of space in your sink counter. Toity. Oh, porcelain. Your shower, free moth. Okay, all, like it still has a sticker on it for crying out loud been used oh hangers very important um floors in great shape right 
Carpet's in good shape. And again, with the plastic, hasn't been removed from new. Like, this thing is in exceptional condition. Uh, again, once we clean it, interior, I give eight and a half to a nine. The weak points of the interior truly are these damn ass things. The, the, they're just not that fantastic. My advice is buy a king size topper and cut it down to fit and put it underneath these for kids to sleep in. Okay, and there's your video. I do not know what else to say about this thing. It's in great shape. Okay, and I'll upload this and get it to you ASAP. Thank you for watching.